Authenticity, vulnerability, transparency. These are words we hear very often in our culture at this time. And often when I hear people talking about these three words, specifically authenticity, this is kind of what I hear. I just need to speak my truth. I just need to be real with you. I just need to have the courage to speak my mind. And although that is certainly part of authenticity, I want to speak to a different possibility. Perhaps you might consider it a deeper approach to how we can actually show up authentically in a very different way. When we connect with our true essence, our spiritual beingness, when we authentically recognize that there is a place within us that is beyond any story we have about ourselves, when we recognize there is a place within us that is unharmed and unharmable, and we can unplug from the conditions of the world and plug into our true nature, then we authentically show up as that and we shift our awareness from attracting what we need in the world to being what we want to offer the world. This is a profound shift in a way of being and seeing. In my own journey, I realized that I was out of touch or disconnected with my authentic self and I was looking to the world to find satisfaction. Please make me happy. The perfect job is gonna bring me peace. The perfect partner will make me feel loved. And I recognize that what was really being asked of me and the way it showed up is frustrating relationships, frustrating work experiences. And I realized at some point it was time for me to reconnect with my true nature, unlearn all those beliefs about myself that have kept me feeling stuck and limited and more accurately have kept me believing that the world needs to bring me something so that I can be happy. When I had that profound shift and when I dedicated time to reconnecting to my true nature, I recognized that it really wasn't about the conditions of the world. It was who I have come here to be. And when I really got that I'm here to radiate love rather than to attract love, I'm here to radiate happiness rather than to get happiness, everything changed. And I want to be clear, I'm not saying that we aren't looking for um, relationships that bring us satisfaction or work that helps us live on purpose. What I'm saying is the starting point is to unplug from believing the world needs to give us something to changing our perspective, to authentically connecting with our truth and recognizing that we are here to offer the world something. And the greatest paradox in my life was as soon as I did that, everything started to shift. And the greatest paradox was, wow, now I'm actually in relationships that are satisfying. I do have work that's deeply connected with my purpose. So what I want to offer is very simple. Moving from our mind, which tends to sort and separate and compare, and into our heart, which wants to connect, and then even deeper into that authentic place within each of us, that place of essential beingness. Life is a great experiment. My invitation for you is to authentically connect with who and what you are, and then ask the question, how can I offer this to the world?